The purpose of this film is really to show what we believe the home of the future will look like that will require high-speed networks. These networks that are coming out that are one gig, two gig, 10 gig kinds of speeds. The number one question we get is, what are the kinds of services that require that kind of speed? In the future, we believe that these autonomous vehicles will require significant data updates. So what you're seeing in the film is this self-driving vehicle pulling up in front of the house and therefore automatically connecting to the home network in order to get its updates. In this case, we're seeing autonomous vehicles that are going to require 200, 300 gigabytes a month. When you see the father walk into the home and he puts on his VR goggles, you see the entire world change. And that's what we call kind of a mixed reality experience. It's virtual reality with overlaying in the real world the furniture, the walls, that of the home. It's sometimes referred to as augmented reality. And it's really that mixed media that creates these really rich kinds of experiences. Now, in reality, those kinds of experiences are three, four, five years out down the road. But we believe that those are the kinds of environments that create really interesting and really compelling experiences. In the film, you see the mother interacting with colleagues over distance using a video collaboration wall. We believe this is, represents really what working from home will be like in five to 10 years from now. You also see some uh, thoughts around what the interface of the future looks like, where people are collaborating and interacting with simultaneous documents that are literally suspended on the display, and you see those swipe motions from the standpoint of those kinds of interactions. In the scene where you see the young girl interacting with her grandmother, that's what we call VR over distance. That is the case where the little girl is in her bedroom, the grandmother is in her apartment, yet they feel like they're in the exact same space. And it's really around this whole concept of VR not just being confined to one person, one person's experience, but really allowing for these multi-user experiences and multi-user experiences where people operate in multiple distances. In the scene where you see the holographic Einstein, it's representing what we think education of the future will look like. It's these kinds of rich media kinds of educational models. That's where the future of education plays out. Now, there's been a lot of work that's been done on holographics for quite some time. However, just in the last year, there have been some really interesting new kinds of holographic displays that have come about. So it's a lot nearer than typically most people think, but still there's a lot of work that needs to be done. In the scene at the end of the movie where the grandmother actually wins the game, in this case it's actually allowing her to participate as if she were local in the house, being able to play and interact with the other players of the game local to the home. We think remote VR actually has some pretty interesting applications of collaboration amongst teams one-on-one -on -one, or family members actually being able to stay better connected and to participate even over great distances. The fundamental element of everything that you're seeing in this film is high-speed networks, but it's not just about speed, it's about low latency. The ability to have these real-time experiences, particularly in those cases where it was over distance, whether it's the collaboration wall or remote VR, is low latency. And it's not just latency, but also local near compute. So computing that allows for all of that VR world, those VR experiences to be calculated, to be rendered, and be displayed such that people over distances feel like they're all in the same environment. That becomes really the fundamental piece that allows for these kinds of technologies and experiences to exist. And for us, from the standpoint of the cable plant, we believe that we have the best technology for those creating those experiences to create those environments. New game begins in three, two, one.